Metro Transit leaders, they're going to go before lawmakers today and they're working to share how they're trying to keep riders safe. Kelsey Christensen joins us live in Minneapolis and Kelsey, they're already rolling out some of these new changes. Paul, in fact, we've seen a handful of changes this year. A lot of those just in recent months. In fact, the most recent being Metro Transit is making sure that everyone has a ticket if they are riding. That one just started earlier this month. So Metro Transit is going on the light rails, the buses, and uh, asking for proof of payment from riders and citing them if they don't have that. They also added private security, have social workers riding different light rail lines to connect with people if they need services, worked to hire more police officers, and considered adding turnstiles. And then tomorrow, the Met Council will also look at allowing security officers officers to also issue citations along with adding a new code of conduct for riders. And then today we're learning more about how those changes are working so far. New data from the Met Council ahead of today's presentation to lawmakers shows reports of crimes have dropped by 33 percent. That's from quarter one to three. Some other key takeaways here include calls for service have increased. Most of those calls coming from Minneapolis. Officers are also calling for service more often. There are 109 full-time police officers. That's out of 171 budgeted and 12 community service officers of about 70 budgeted. What we're doing is heavily focusing on the recruitment of CSOs. We believe that if we focus on our community service officer recruitment plan, that in the future, three years from now, we'll have a steady resource pool of candidates that we can pull our police officers from. Okay, and Metro Transit is set to update state lawmakers on all of this new data at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Paul. Okay, we'll be watching, making sure everybody has a good ticket is a good place to start there.